Hi, my name is Tim Murphy and I'm the head football coach at Clovis East High School. Today we're going to talk about our power series in our double wing and eye wing offense. The last 11 years of running our double wing and eye wing offense, we've enjoyed a lot of success. We've had 11 straight years in the playoffs. We've had nine league championships. We've had five CIF championship appearances and we've had three CIF championships. We're the winningest large school program in Central California this decade, and we're the winningest new school in state history. We've had a number of kids rush for 1,000 yards, and we've averaged well over 300 yards a game in our last 11 years. Why we run power? Power is guaranteed yardage. We really believe that we're gonna get five yards or more every time we run the power play. So it's a good feeling to know that we have a play within our package that we run a lot that we're gonna get five yards on a pop. Our players believe in it. They've seen it work. We've averaged seven yards per carry on it, so they believe in it as well. And it's been easy to run, so we're, e we're able to run this play at the lowest levels all the way up to the highest levels and run it with good success. It sets up other key plays. Obviously, it's gonna set up our pass plays and our counters, and it's obviously gonna set up our traps and our perimeter game. So the power is really the foundation of our eye wing and double wing, and that's why we put so much emphasis into it. The advantage of the power, it's great versus any and all defenses. So no matter what the defense comes up to, we can comes up into, we can block it. It's great against blitzes and stunts. It's very easy to block and with the extra pullers, when they blitz us or do some kind of twist or stunt, we generally pick it up fairly easily. It's a great goal line play. I don't think there's a better goal line play in football than power, so we don't have to come up with a new package or a new play to score inside the five. It generally is gonna get us in there pretty easily. It's great for physical mismatches. We always get a double team at the point of attack, and because we have so many players in the point of attack, uh, we can take advantage of linebackers maybe outweighing our linemen or big defensive linemen uh, outweighing us up front as well. It's good from almost any set. We like our double tight end sets, but it's pretty good from our single tight end and even our ace back formations. It gets more people to the point of attack than the defense can handle. All of a sudden, the linebacker has to deal with two or three guys as opposed to one guy, and generally he's going to lose that matchup. And it forces opponents to play us at a high physical level. One thing that I look at when we play teams, a lot of times we're playing teams from out of state, especially in the beginning of the year, teams that we know nothing about. If I watch them on film and they don't play at a great high physical level, there's a really good chance we're going to win the football game because our offense itself and the power play uh, demands such a force, uh, aggressive defense to stop it that if they don't play like that year round, it's going to be a tough to adjust to us in the game they play. Types of uh, players needed. Our fullback needs to be physical and unselfish. He's not going to get the ball in power. He doesn't get a ball the ball the whole lot in our offense, so he has to be very physical and unselfish. He is the point of attack guy that's either kicking out or logging at the point of attack. Our tight end has to be a solid blocker with the ability to block backers and down linemen. So he has to be quick and agile enough to block a linebacker, yet big and strong enough to block uh, a down lineman. Our offensive line, they don't have to be oversized. They're definitely not the prototype, college type uh, offensive linemen. Most of our linemen are weighing between 170 and maybe 210 pounds, but they have to have decent mobility. They have to get after you and they have to be able to pull and work together within a team because they're doing a lot of double teams. And a running back has to be physical and patient. He needs to trust his blockers. He doesn't have to be a 4-3-40 guy, some guy that's making plays by himself because he's got a whole lot of blockers out there in front of him. But he needs to utilize those blockers, and to do so, he's got to run physical, and he's got to run